Hello, you guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing awesome and amazing. Because I think we're going to get right into it, you guys. So, type of reason I have a few. You know, if it ain't your store, we leave it. Don't pick it up. Okay? We're going to get right into it. Thank you guys for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes, and all that good stuff. You guys are greatly appreciated. Yeah, as we were getting. Okay, I said as we were getting. So somebody we as we were getting, somebody's gathering something. It's a it's a collective or a community of people or a group, a team, a network. I'm hearing um live and living color. Live and in living color. And somebody's concerned about some unexpected income that they receive. Something about, um, I'm in 2019. Privileged lady, unexpected income. A privileged lady received something in 2019. It could have been, um, December the 27th or, uh, a Sagittarius. They were paid. Or something like that. I'm not trying to keep something private. Uh, Capricorn. Capricorn. I mean, like it was the devil energy. Something about you were supposed to get COVID. You were supposed to catch COVID. Yeah, look, you were supposed to be in bad health. Somebody said you passed from COVID. Yeah, somebody said they gave you COVID, privileged lady or something, or you passed from COVID. And then somebody's concerned that they're going to get sued because they stole. They, they, they were being sneaky. They stole something. So if somebody, oh, wow, somebody could have said that you were, uh, So somebody presumes you dead for the last seven years, but they see you live in a living color. So a Capricorn could have stole your your person, your main male. A Sagittarius, Capricorn, or Aquarius. Something about Aquarius. Something happened in Aquarius season. Something about Valentine's Day. Somebody got proof. Some. Uh, somebody could have had sex on Valentine's Day, but they they kept a, a condom or they kept somebody's semen. What the fuck? To get pregnant? To trap somebody? Oh, uh, look, to trap this man? What? January the 29th would be significant? Aquarius? Cause they want a great fortune. Look, they they must have caught his um. Mm, Y'all see it coming out. They caught it between the twenty sixth and the 29th. Oh, when they was sleeping together. What? Yeah. So on the 26th or through the 31st of January, this master could have laid something to rest with a mature woman because they were expecting a baby with somebody else and they were expecting stability with this Sagittarius, Capricorn, or Aquarius is what I'm getting. Yeah, that's the truth. They got a message that They thought they were on some type of journey with that divine feminine. But that person was only expecting stability here. So she took that sperm and wrote out some type of petition where that man would be uh, stuck on her. But she was using somebody else's energy, though. 
the mature woman. Yeah, because she stole your person. So, and so this is somebody who could have been in your community. They worked hard. I'm talking about do jilly, do jilly. I can't even say it, but that's what they did to cause an ending here to somebody moving forward. So they were expecting a change, but something backfired like here recently. Something backfired recently. Or somebody passed due to some magic backfiring. Or somebody went through an ending. Did somebody pass to some magic backfire? Is that what I'm saying? Something, somebody pays. We got a family. Family room. In Bad Hill. Somebody pays. Somebody got a message of despair. Somebody got a message from their, their uh, family members that a mask was in bad health because that was a retaliation from somebody who uh, did some magic to trap a masculine with them. So we hit somebody around them and their family or something, an older gentleman. Yeah, they got that message and they put them in despair and they knew it was because of their work that they had did. Yeah, they were blind to the fact that that was going to happen or something like that. Yep, look. Something about um May. This masculine birthday could be like May the 17th, 18th, or 19th, or even the 14th. Yeah, they realized that they were... um. Well, they could have ended something. They something to rest with this person. They got a family with take out reason. But I'm getting like somebody may have passed. But now this masculine want to um come in and support you or give you some type of gift because they realize you're not a false person. They they waking up to something, honey. I'm hearing um music. I think it's music soul child. I just wanna know your name and maybe sometime we could hook up. Hang out, just chill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You ain't gotta be my girlfriend. What'd he say? Yeah, somebody, they don't wanna, you ain't gotta be that girlfriend. They just wanna hang up. I said hang up. <laughs> hang out and chill. Because they realizing who you are or something. You could have, like, been in some type of seven-year contract with this two and this one. That's a three. And then this three and this four. That's a four. You could have been, like, in a seven-year contract. And you was presumed dead or something like that, too, as well. Or somebody's been dead for seven years. Excuse me. Yeah, you could have completed a seven-year cycle with somebody. And with you completing that cycle, that woke somebody up here. About what's going on. Somebody's soul was trapped for seven years. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, something changed here. Something was... Something has uh, changed in the wind. So be expecting, like, um, stability. Good things to come towards you. Nine twenty-eight, two thousand and twenty. Unexpected income. So 928, 2020. Somebody got some unexpected income. So they could have traveled somewhere here. They spent a lot of money here too. This mature woman. Now she's concerned. Because she thought she had caused a lot of chaos. But somebody's realizing something backfired. Somebody got some magic done. They paid a lot of money. They received a lot of money too, though. Yeah, this masculine, a masculine lover. 
something something happened to this masculine. Another masculine. Some some somebody passed. What what's going on? Imprisonment. Like I said, your soul or your contract, your soul contract is being like your soul been trapped. You and your soulmate or something, y'all been trapped for the last seven years. You could be seeing 999 or 99 could be significant. So somebody was trying to block you guys from getting a commitment or getting into a new contract or something like that. Yeah, so you wouldn't get this inheritance. So they were trying to leave you out in the cold here. A family. This could be a mother and a child working together because they wanted some, some some type of support here. They wanted your gift. Yeah, and then they also wanted this main male to gift them or support them too. And this mature man could have been working hard. He could have been the one that did this. His ass comes to, he's going through endings or his ass done passed. You hear me? Yeah. But somebody could have said it. Yeah, somebody collected off of somebody's death. They could have been working with a masculine and said that you passed and somebody collected off of death. Take it how it resonate. Well, but somebody passed though. A masculine passed and they could have left you something and somebody collected it. For somebody, okay, somebody's father passed. They left you something and somebody took it. For somebody else, somebody's lover did some magic to separate y'all, a lover or a mother figure or that, something like that. They took something from y'all and a masculine passed who was working with them. For somebody else, this could be your father or your baby's father that was working against you. I mean, like, this could be your father. They were, probably were working against you. And they pass. But they, it's like they want to be on your journey. They feel obligated or something like that to give you something back what, that was taken from you. Because they seen that you're innocent, you're a sweetheart. Yeah, and this person could have been like absent from your life. And then that could have trickled down to your relationship and your a, a masculine, your soulmate. They just want to hang out and chill and get to know you. You ain't got to be that girlfriend or whatever, but they just want to, like, I guess, write some type of wrong with you. And for somebody, you got, like, the government or a scientist or something, somebody like that, like, watching you. Yeah, but it's like you took that courage to take the leap of faith to heal yourself, and you freed yourself from this bullshit, from this contract that lasted for seven years or something like that. And um, somebody's shocked. And somebody's trailing you. It could be a scientist or an investigator or. But they see you living in color. You could be a performer. Something about Aquarius season two as well. Or this is Aquarius that's doing this. Somebody may have curly hair. Um, There's proof here. Somebody could have a Kia. A, a car, a Kia, they had a Kia, or they got a Kia. Somebody's name may be Kia. What collective? Let's clarify a little bit of this. It's a lot going on. That was a serious little download. <laughs> I don't blame it. Let me see what's going on here. Let's get this. Okay, cockroaches. Somebody could have been, somebody spirit animal, animal might be cockroaches. You could be seeing cockroaches. Cockroaches as a spirit animal is asking you to pay attention to the change in your life. What do you need to let go? Also, surprisingly, cockroaches represents togetherness. Yeah, somebody let go of somebody and they're trying to come together. 
I mean, them fucking cockroaches. I don't know, but I don't want to see no cockroaches. There's no spirit animal. But if you see seeing cockroaches, like I said before, I, you know, somebody could be seeing bugs in the house. That's saying that you need to pay attention to something. Or wherever you at, if you're seeing cockroaches, you need to pay attention. And it was time to change something in your life. And it's time to let go of something. And surprisingly, cockroaches represent togetherness. Like I said, somebody want to hang out, chill out, and all that old shit, honey. Okay, you got a guardian of protection around you. Yeah, because somebody is bringing balance back into your life. Balance is being restored. Because somebody had, a family had you in bad health, and all this changing. Yeah, so be expecting, like, stability, uh, your inheritance, whatever they try to take from you. It's coming back. You got a guardian of protection. Like I said, this might be your father. They feel obligated in protecting you. And they won't bring balance here. And balance will be restored. Yeah. You fucking cockroaches. <laughs> yeah, I keep being. I think it's off of a movie. Let me get one more. What's going on? True fulfillment comes from helping others. Then we got fish here. So this masculine, okay, this the garden of protection, they feel like true fulfillment comes from protecting, I mean, from helping others. And this is also, I mean, like, this is you too as well. Like, you feel fulfilled when you're helping others. Um, it, you could represent togetherness or whatever, or you you bringing something together, or something like that. And I'm getting like your guardian angels or your ancestors that are telling you you need to help somebody here that you probably don't want to help, but this person is part of your journey. We got fish here. Fish represents unconsciousness of your higher self, your feelings, your motives birth rebirth deeper awareness wisdom connections to source and you are a light worker so you so if you are a light worker yeah you you gotta open up your heart yeah it's like you you get in this this wisdom or this inner knowledge or something like that. It's like they're trying to push you towards this person and this person's being pushed towards you because they've been awakened so I don't know, honey. You could be seeing cockroaches or fish, or you could be eating fish. Somebody eating spaghetti. Somebody maybe eating fish and spaghetti. Somebody ate fish and spaghetti. I'm mean, thinking like spaghetti a couple of days ago. Or something like that. I know a lot of black people eat fish and spaghetti on Friday. So somebody could have been awakened Friday. Red, yep. You are your ancestor's dream. What just fell? Wow, all these damn spirit animals. I'm getting like, yeah, you may be seeing a lot of animals. You could be seeing squirrels. Squirrels represents rebirth, renewal, energy, positive, positivity, hard work, your duty to balance some shit. Yeah. Specifically, guide one's attitude. You could be seeing squirrels or fish or whatever. <laughs> we got happiness is found within. The ancestors want you to move beyond generational patterns. So, like I said, it was something about your past. So, you could have been like, you could have had an absentee father. Your kids could have had an absentee father. But your ancestors want you to move beyond this generational pattern of being mad at the father's and or something and coming back together with a father or a mother, I don't know, something like that, to break these generational patterns. Yeah, your ancestors are trying to pave the way here for you to make amends is what I'm getting. But it's like, yeah, y'all don't have to be, you know, lovers. Y'all could be friends or whatever. 
even though I'm getting like just forgive and forget and move on. Even though these people, they were absentee, they did whatever they did. Just forgive them and move on for you and your gener next generation to come because you don't want your kids to grow up with their kids having absentee fathers or mothers or whatever. So it's you are the generational curse breaker here. And um, yeah, I'm getting like you're being guided to make amends. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Somebody needs to drink more water. Um, we got this house here. Yeah, then I said something about a Leo. It could be a Leo here. This house is about luck too as well. Be lighthearted and playful. Happiness, excitement. Somebody may like sports. You may have a Leo child. Or you may be a Leo. Yeah, even though this person had like this trickster energy, they want you to lighten up and enjoy life. Yeah, because whoever that person was, uh, they were misguided. So, you know. Um... I don't know, and somebody's finding out a baby is not theirs, even though somebody did all that to try to save um, some sperm or something. Let's get a secret. What's going on? What's the secret? Somebody poison somebody food to drink to get that sperm? A secret will be revealed that was suppressed from your childhood. The secret is your life is about to change overnight. And somebody wants you bad. But they know they're better off without. I mean, secret no, they're not with the love of their life. So somebody know they're not with the love of their life here. Because I told you they've been awakened to who you are. What's going on? Give me a secret, please, and thank you. Somebody was secretly betting you would not survive. Like I said, somebody said that you, you were presumed dead seven years ago. Like, what type of shit is that? Secretly betting on your life, whether you will survive or not. So, I don't know if this is the investigator, the scientist, the, the family. I don't know. They were betting that you wouldn't survive. They could even try to poison your drink and your food. Secretly doing love spells on people. I told you they were they grabbing condoms and uh, gathering up. Oh, somebody didn't swallow. I just heard she swallowed, but she didn't swallow. What the fuck? She didn't swallow. Somebody secretly knows who you are on a soul level. Secretly know everything you're saying is the truth. So somebody didn't swallow. They put that shit in a, a, a bag or a condom or something. And they kept it. And they did some type of spell, love spell. They needed somebody's DNA to do the spell. And they captured their ass for seven years or something. And, um... Honey, <laughs> I don't know. It could be an age difference between you and your person or the person and that person. Somebody could have been 21. Somebody could have been like in their early 20s and somebody was in their 30s. Or you and your person got some type of age difference between you guys. It was for some date. What? A miracle is about to happen. Divine feminine. Sit under the moon and channel. Somebody, somebody sitting under the moon channeling. I know you're out there somewhere. Somewhere far away. Somebody is trying to get their uh, divine feminine. They feel like a miracle is about to happen for them. Justice will prevail. Wow. 
Boy, let's see. For some day. For some day. The killer is out of the area. Uh, a witness may be fully. One minute. A witness may not be fully disclosed, disclosing all of the facts. What? This may be solved by DNA testing or scientific methods. I'm telling you, some kind of fucking scientist. Or maybe the. Okay, somebody DNA, like I said, somebody, this ain't somebody's baby or somebody found out that that's not their baby, but this crime might be solved by DNA testing or other specific methods. The killer is out of the area. Witness may not fully disclose all the facts. So somebody know this mother and daughter energy or this couple, whatever this is, one of the witnesses to uh, them trying to do this, they're not disclosing all the facts because they they doing spells on people. Then they keep the secrets, taking somebody's DNA and all that old shit. And they know they know who you were on the soul level, and they were wearing a mask. And somebody could have been using familiars, like I said, roaches or shit, or uh, cats or something. To keep somebody blocked or trapped somebody's soul. Somebody's soul may be trapped in a damn cat. I don't know. But you got protection. Cats are also protection. You could have protected yourself, but somebody kept that, that condom or they gave you fellatio. They did not swallow. They said they swallowed or something. They didn't. They may have swallowed it first time, but that neck they didn't swallow. You hear me? Yeah. And this crime may be solved by DNA testing. Because somebody got your DNA. Mm-hmm. Multiple people were involved in this crime. T-A or M. Somebody may have tattoos. A-T-T, -T, attention. Pay attention. I know it's supposed to be an N, but yeah. Pay attention. Give me one more. One more, please. Thank you. In the future, the killer may admit guilt. So somebody may admit that they're guilty here. Additional evidence at the scene may be discovered. Important details are not being revealed to the public at this time. Yeah, somebody got something under lock and key. Of course, they're not going to tell you what the hell they did. They don't want you to know. But it was multiple people involved in this crime. If there was like some money, was it multiple people involved with the, some money here? Kiss my ass. There was motive for committing this crime. What's that? Money? Come through, spirit. This case will remain unsolved until key evidence is, dis is discovered. I told you, somebody got something, some evidence under lock and key. They done locked some shit up. They tried to. This could even be the money in a safe. They done locked it away or they done locked something it's a lot of teas here. T T T T Tia. That's said Kia. Somebody name may be Tia. Somebody somebody's T T may have the uh the evidence or somebody's name start with a T. They got the evidence. They know something about the, something what's going on. Somebody may be a twin or a triplet. Something like that, y'all. But it was the money. They did all this for the money, honey. They did the love spells for the money. They could even do that for like 
a living dude put spells on people or some shit what i don't know this is different <laughs> let's see what sign they are what i already say aquarius look fertilizing i'm telling you fertilizing they've been fertilizing their damn self bonfire earth worship so it could be somebody fertilizing themselves like some type of passion with an earth sign virgo Taurus, or a capricorn or aries leo sagittarius here Food is not the only thing that nourishes you, dear one. Be mindful of what you feed your soul. I'm telling you, somebody has your soul trap. This 10 is complete, though. They they use something. Look, look at her hands. Some shit coming up out of her hands. Water. Come, she ain't got no water. Pot. Man, okay. Somebody, I told somebody did with that magic. That's what they do. And look, all the little tools, they just floating around. Yeah, somebody done did some... Zuzu wham wham on somebody's food. And be mindful of what you feed your soul. Because somebody done bamboozled your ass. Mm-hmm. Until my body is in your arms, I will worship you, dear mother of mine. Mm. Bonfire. It is through remembering that you will wake the ritual of your existence and be born in mighty celebration. So like I said, somebody went through an awakening. You could have, so a fire sign could be um, taking this leap of faith. You could have remembered something through some type of ritual and it woke you up and you were reborn. And now it's time for you to celebrate. Like I said, you done uh, completed a cycle, a seven year cycle. And you don't went through this rebirth, the transformation here. Until my body is in your arms, I will worship you. So that may be, I don't know. Spirits may be playing some type of seeds for a fire sign and an earth sign or something. I don't know. We got Leo on the bottom. We got Capricorn here. Want the power though. So, like I said, they paving the way. They could be doing some old, doing some, something to get you guys to come together. Somebody is aligned with the universe. Somebody's very much so connected to the universe. It's a mother, too. Somebody's mother here. I don't know what's going on. That was Jupiter and Saturn. Wow, we got Virgo, Capricorn, and a Leo. We got Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces. So we got a Virgo, a Capricorn, a Leo, a Sagittarius, Aquarius, and a Pisces here. This uh going through this here. Somebody could be going through an awakening. Somebody could be the, I already said, the Capricorn. What did I say? Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. They done tricked a Virgo in the past with some secrets. Yeah, because they wanted somebody's power. They wanted their own. I don't know. They wanted the power. They wanted this stick. You hear me? <laughs> I don't know what they want. Oh, wow. What is going on here? What? Yeah, I know your story. Don't pick it up if it's not your story. But somebody's secret know everything you're saying is the truth. 
Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius could have been working together. Or they, somebody got all these signs in the chart. Or this relationship blossomed between this time here. And somebody been strategic trying to keep a secret here. Because they wanted that power in the situation here. They were trying to control the narrative of the relationship. Mm. So, yeah. That's what I have for you guys. I'm going to end it right there. And these could be any sign. Sun, moon, Venus, or rising. Take it how it resonates. So... I'm just still looking. I'm just like, what? So somebody planted this seed because they wanted their passion to grow and they wanted to be a mother. You hear me? I told you, look at her. She, she don't spit that. That's a, a crystal, but she don't spit something on the crystal. She could have been using crystals, roots, somebody's hair. She could have been using bugs, bees, birds, whatever, honey. Mm-hmm. Lighting candles, burning shit, chanting shit, planting shit. Doing a lot of magic. Plant, putting shit in somebody's food. This person could like make a lot of stuff like um like they could like plant um plants and like they could also make like soaps, candles or something like that. They use crystals. This person is very spiritual, but they use their spirituality like for dark is what I'm getting. It could be an Aquarius here. Where is Capricorn or Sagittarius? Say how it resonates. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys. This person ain't going to be honest. And they can't be honest about nothing. They're not going to tell you the truth. They're going to be held accountable though. Yeah, you just learn how to protect yourself. So somebody fake as hell got a fake life. They want to live beyond their means. And they took their gifts. And became very extremely petty. Yeah, because they took their gifts to the extreme. Like they overdid their manipulation. They became obsessed. It could be with a Virgo where they just came became obsessed with trying to keep somebody trapped. Or well, this is what a Virgo did. Take it out, resonate. Something like that. But that's what I have for you guys. I'm in it right there. And I'm going to love you to life.